Hi guys, so for this video I basically thought that I would take some inspiration from some other YouTubers videos. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my cat is being a little poo bum and he's just running all over my keyboard and getting into my shopping bags apparently. Yes, I just filmed another video, that's why I'm wearing the same clothes. Sorry, but not sorry. Um, so I thought I would take some other YouTubers' inspiration. <laughs> what is he eating? Okay, some other YouTubers' inspiration on the idea of pillow talks and do a bit of a live talk on where I'm up to. Um, so basically this is sort of going to be covering the topic high school work and relationships. I'm 16 at the moment. Um, I was year 12 in school. I would be year 12 in school. Um, I don't know what grade that is, but basically year 13 is the last year of high school in New Zealand for us. So, yeah. I brainstormed so much for you guys. So you should feel really special. Just so I have an idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so basically I have known what I've wanted to do since about the age of five years old so um, I've always chosen my subjects right fresh out of primary school that will set me up to get me into the university course that I want and to basically sort me out with the career that I want so I always plan to finish high school um, I plan to go to I probably won't tell you the university but I plan to go to university and do a co-joint degree in commerce and law. Um, basically, I wrote down the subjects that I was doing. I left, I'd say probably about two, three, yeah, probably about three months ago. I left school um, and I was doing maths A, which is pretty much advanced maths, um, English, business studies, legal studies, economics, and accounting so basically you have to have like I don't know two or three subjects out of a certain category to get into the university course that you want and I have pretty much all of them um, all of my subjects have been like I've done business studies legal economics accounting all throughout high school um, throughout intermediate school I went to boarding school during intermediate so it was a bit different but same sort of thing. Um, the reason that I left was basically, I thought I'd cover this so you kind of have an idea, was basically due to, yeah, by the way, pillow talk, that's why I'm in bed because I'm too lazy to get out of bed and film this video because it's midnight and I just really don't want to. So, whatever. Deal with it. Um, basically, my health meant that I had a very low attendance rate. I think my attendance rate was about probably anywhere from 30 to 40 percent. So under half the time I was at school. Um, basically I've had a lot of problems with my breathing and because I have breathing problems it restricts oxygen um, which means my body's not getting enough oxygen. I get run down really easily. Some mornings it's just not possible for me to get out of bed. Um, it's just, it's, it's kind of hard to explain to people who don't really understand. It kind of just comes across as laziness, but um, I had a lot of surgeries. I had a surgery in the beginning of, end of January, I believe, just before school started um, for the year. But unfortunately, that surgery failed. That was um, septoplasty, turbinate reduction, and endoscopic sinus surgery. So that failed and basically it bent my bone more and made it worse. Um, so I had to have another surgery. I had that um, a couple of weeks ago. Not too sure where the healing process is at at the moment, but the school had really low understanding, um, especially with not really helping out with... I'm so sorry, my cat is just loving this cotton on bag. Um, especially with... What was I saying? He's loving it, um, especially with me not being, finding it a bit difficult to pass my exams and my assessments, 
with my absent rate so high. I just wasn't learning what I needed to to pass what I needed to to pass the year. So I left. Um, where I'm at with sort of school and my education at the moment is I have an interview um, at a course, I won't tell you where, um, next, well this coming Thursday, it's Saturday now, to basically see if they will bump me up to a level 5 course. Level 5, it's four level 5 papers and two level 6 I believe and that's pretty much year 13 university level. Which is a big deal because obviously I um, was year 12, but I hadn't even finished year 12. So that would be a level 5 diploma in business management. So if I could have that by the end of next year, that would be huge. Um, basically I could get into university and finish what I want. And it's good because it's only like say 3 days a week. So it's not as challenging for me to get through it as school was. And I just feel like school... I don't know, school's not right for everybody, fair enough, you don't need to feel bad if you're one of those people who don't quite fit the, yeah, you know, basically you have in their view the disabled kids and the normal kids, but you know, there is an in-between, not necessarily disabled, but there are certain factors that sort of mean you're disadvantaged other people and I think that schools need to learn to cater to that better because for me they didn't personally so I'm trying to um, get through this a different way um, work briefly I have my first real job at the moment I started about a month just over a month ago um, I'm waitressing at the moment at a restaurant in the town that I live um, yeah he's biting my feet Lovely. Um, I have had work experience before, like accountants. Um, I am on the youth advisory board in the town that I'm in, so sort of like working with the council. We do a lot of workshops that sort of teach you about getting sponsorships and all that kind of thing. Waitressing is very, it's a very demanding job. Like, um, I guess it depends on where you're waitressing, but it is demanding, you're on your feet 24-7, you don't stop, even if there's nothing to do, you have to find something to do, because otherwise you're gone, or you're just yelled at really badly, and it's not very nice. Um, unexpected hours, basically, you're on until you're acquired, um, it depends on whether the night is busy or not, whether you're closing the restaurant or not, um, basically... You could be working anywhere from two hours to six hours. So even with six hours, it's not really a long day, but some nights you are working till about midnight. Um, so basically, I do think that I need to find a more... What's the word for it? Probably a more reliable job. Um, I do need more hours so that I, when I move out, I can pay rent. And I'm going to need um, petrol money to get to course and back because it's about an eight, uh, I was just about to say an eight hour drive. Whoa, no thank you. Um, an hour drive every day. Um, so basically, and something that relates more to the direction I'm going in, so sort of um, maybe some admin work, that sort of thing. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say for work. If you guys want any sort of more advice on high school or work or courses or any kind of things like that let me know but basically next thing is relationships again I don't really have much to say about this um I guess I'll just start with my probably my first big crush it's probably I'm not sure the specific ages but I just said sort of the ages of around seven to maybe thirteen um it was my neighbor he was uh, not interested because I was a little fat, weird kid. I don't know. You probably wouldn't recognize me if you saw me then and saw me now. But anyway, that didn't work out. He wishes it did now. Though. He wishes. He wishes he gave me a try. Yeah, okay, that probably sounded, ooh, that probably sounded really funny. I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to. Um... Basically, I'd say that I probably fell 
for a guy for the first time um, in December last year. Um, I was seeing him till beginning, well, I don't even know what that was, beginning mid-February this year. Not seeing him, I wasn't dating him, but I saw him quite a bit. Yeah. Um, well, I think everyone's going to know what that smile means, but let's just moving on okay so I'm in a relationship at the moment um I've been in the, this relationship for almost two months and I know to some people that's probably not going to be anything but personally I've always had a problem um I don't like seeing people <laughs> okay I, I'm a social person I'm very outgoing but I don't like seeing people in a relationship like once every two or three weeks is enough for me but with this guy um I love seeing him I really do so for me this is kind of really my first real relationship um it's nice because we've talked about you know the future and you know what age we want to get well not we but in general we want to get married and have kids and all that kind of stuff and he said he can see himself with me in a couple of years' time. So that's really good. He treats me really well. Um, I'm 16. He's 19. He turns 20 um, two weeks exactly after I turn 17. So um, it's quite a decent, quite a good age gap, I reckon. Um, that's probably right, about the right age for me. People do say I'm quite mature for my age, but I don't know, I guess you guys or whoever else I meet will be the judge of that um so yeah that's pretty much all I had to say about what is going on in my life at the moment sort of not really advice in there but it sort of gives you guys some things to pick out and ask about if you're going through anything similar um, or you want to know anything more about any of these topics or any more topics because if you want to know about anything else I can do a pillow talk vlog on that if it's another rainy night at midnight and I can't be bothered getting out of bed to film so let me know guys because I really love filming videos and it would be great to hear from you so thanks guys good night <laughs>